Do you hate making your bed in the morning? Maybe you just leave the covers all wadded up and you call it good. You don't have to do that. Tam Stone with Tam Stone Interiors is here to help us all put together the perfect bed so you feel like you're relaxed and in a hotel every time you enter your room. That would be a really nice feeling. Yeah, sure. So you say step one is choosing the best sheets. So tell us mm -hmm. this right off the bat. Is the thread count thing important or is that just a bunch of stuff to get us to spend money? Um, Yes, it is important. It is actually probably the second most important after the type of sheet that you have. So um, when you any time higher thread count is always better. Mm -hmm. So regardless of whether you're doing an Egyptian cotton, which everybody hears of this, this is the longest threads, the most soft, um, the most durable sheets that are out there. But those can be five hundred dollars. That's a, a lot of money to yeah. spend on a set of sheets. It is a lot yeah. of money to spend on a set of sheets. Um, it is worth it. They do last. Um, but you can also do Supima, which is has a shorter thread to it, um, but they're not quite as durable. Those are about 200. And if it would just say cotton on it, they're usually uh -huh. upland cotton, which means that it's a short thread. It's going to be much more coarse, but your higher thread count is going to be more durable and it, better across the board. You have a really nice display here. And you, so it's important also to have the right accoutrements, yeah. so to speak, to put on. A lot of people don't have all these different sets of pillows mm -hmm. and the throw. So break down what you need to have the bed look as nice as yours look. Okay, so we went through um, a whole generation and decor of extreme pillows that were not useful. They were all decorative. Everything mm -hmm. was very decorative on the beds. And now it's much more streamlined, tailored bedding. And this should be easy to put together in the morning. Uh, so this isn't extreme pillow right here? No, it isn't. And then okay. let me tell you why. Okay. Why it isn't. Well, we'll start with you just put a bed skirt on, something to just cover the edge of your bed. It doesn't have to be super fancy, but it just gives that finishing touch. You'd be surprised how much better that looks. You Got have your it. fitted mat or fitted um, sheet that you can't see underneath here. Your flat sheet, which I have put in one that's a little bit decorative, so it adds a little bit of a touch without fuss, right? Right coverlet on your bed that would be what we would have here in the summer and we'll do a duvet here later that it's getting to be winter time but these are functional this is a bolster type pillow so if you read in bed or something yeah. like that this is functional and useful if you don't have an upholstered headboard so just leave it there it's okay. treated as a headboard okay. this is your pillow that you sleep on and just like the bedding invest in the actual pillow itself Buy, if you can, unless you're allergic, a down feather, not feather, a down um, pillow that's not feather based. It'll last you forever. These that I've had in here, you can see how full and fluffy they are. They're 20 years old. They're mine. Really? Yeah. They're 20 years old. These are 20 years, years old. old. So if you buy, now I will tell you, uh -huh. I bought them for probably $150 20 years ago on sale. So today okay. they would be quite a bit more expensive, but I've had them forever. They don't wad up and get gross. So the only thing that we have on here is this kind of quick little toss it on the floor decorative thing that you're taking off and on the bed in the morning if you want to. And you could be really simple and just put one pillow up there and that would finish it good. up. But everything's functional and useful now. Quick debate, percale or sateen? Okay, that's preference completely. Uh -huh. So a percale is a much crisper linen, uh, a crisper uh, fabric, so it's gonna breathe a little bit better. If you're a hot sleeper, use a percale. Sateen is that very, you know, it sounds satin, so it's got right. that kind of shiny, soft finish to it. It's gonna drape better, not wrinkle as much. So it's, they're both great, totally personal preference. As long as your bed looks like this, you're good. Yeah, Tam Stone with Tam Stone Interiors. Thank you, Tam. Thanks.